They'll be here. Don't worry. Because I'm not super, I used to have a prop that would uh, close and lock the door right when class started, and he wouldn't let people in. And because I'm the exact opposite of that, people take liberties with when they come in, which is totally fine. I don't, it doesn't bother me at all. It's one of the other reasons why I record classes. Totally fine. Well, maybe, but it's one of the reasons why I record classes. So in case something happens and you can't get it on time, you have the, the resource. Um, administrative stuff first. No. Oh, boring. Boring. I sent you an email over the weekend. Some of you got it, some of you might not have. Um, I have, I'm about this close to sending you a progress report from last week. Literally this close. I just have to make sure I've got a few random, Blackboard is still being annoying for some people, and I've got a few random things to manually enter. And then I will send that out, I'm thinking, in a couple hours, during office hours, I'll shoot out progress reports to you guys, so you'll know what last week looked like. So, apologies for the torginess on that one. We'll get to you soon. I'm sorry. I blame Blackboard. Joanne! But Blackboard, you put the scores in. Correct, but there's a few a few people that still weren't registered in Blackboard because of registration issues. So rather than send progress reports out twice, I'd rather just send them once when I know everything's already in. Yeah. No, but that's nice. Though, <laughs> it totally is. You didn't have that last time. Now I want to say something about that too, Joanne, because there is a potential for confusion. Starting probably today, and if not today, starting Wednesday, we're going to start having in-class quizzes. So you'll be doing these little paper quizzes in class with classmates if you want to work together. They won't be in Blackboard. So Blackboard is going to give you an incomplete version of all the points you have. It'll give you most of them, obviously. But it won't have the in class. We're going to have more and more of those as we, I think we did that in 105 too. We'll have more and more of those. No, I did too. I love it. I think it's great. It's like a, kind of like worth coming. Well, yeah, it, it is, and it's also like a constant checking to make sure you guys are tracking it. So I, I like that too. So speaking of other assessments, a bunch of you guys have been asking about the project for Wednesday, be either via email to me, which is great, each other, which is great, on that Facebook link, which is one of my students made on Graham May, which is fantastic. Keep asking the questions, we'll keep getting them answered, but it's due Wednesday before class. So hopefully, anybody get a chance to get it done? It's done it in? Excellent. Excellent. Not much math. Am, am I correct in saying not much math? It's pretty straightforward. Easy. Good. I mean, mathematically, no, Kelly, mathematically, that's what I want to hear. There is not much math. The point of the project is not to test you on whether you can divide. I'm hoping by now you can. It's testing you on what point three means as a probability which is what the project kind of teaches you. What does a probability mean? And we're going to fuse all this idea in class together. But the very, very bare bones, basicness, that project and project two, which is not due till week six, they really get a nice, nice foot in the, in the door for that. So, so that's that. There's some quizzes posted too. Do as many or as few as you'd like. Um, there's a huge moth in here. Hey, hey, hey buddy. Look at that size of that thing. Hey, he's up, he's up, he's up there with lights. He's up in the lights right now, currently. I think it's a moth. Could be a hummingbird. <laughs> uh, crap. Oh, I got your exams uploaded too. Now again, I, I think I freaked out my 105 class when I said the word exam earlier. Exams already? I posted it because I wanted you to have the time to find the time to do it. It's not going to take you. To, it's not due till week five. It's not going to take you from now till week five to do. It might take you three weeks to find a half an hour to sit down and slug through it, though. That, I mean, that's honest. That's being honest. It might. I know how busy you guys are. So that's why I like getting them out there. And the, word that, the fact that it's an exam, I heard one student lamenting, oh my god, that midterm. I use the word exam. I use the word exam only because I don't know what else to call it. I mean, I want to use terms you're used to. That's why I call the little guys each week quizzes. I call the sort of medium-sized ones projects, and I call the big ones exams, because those are the terms you guys are kind of used to. But really, if you think about it, an exam in this class is really just kind of a synopsis of everything we've learned to that point. It's, it's all. It's like a bunch of little quizzes just like glued together. I mean, at work, you know, kind of like an iPad is like four iPhones glued together. It's the same idea, <laughs> unless less expensive, I guess. And maybe not. It costs of tuition, I guess. But, um, but the idea is... It, it, I just use those terms to give us something, something to talk about. Oh, did you look at the exam? Oh, the project. Oh, the quiz. On blah, blah, blah. So that's posted. It does have an Excel spreadsheet component. Um, I spent about three hours making the first question on Saturday. I, I, I'm kind of tickled with the way it came out. I told you guys I was going to have a, a GMO quiz for you. I'm a liar because I realized how much it was going to, how much time it was going to take me to actually make that question up. So instead of making a GMO quiz, I put it on your exam instead. So if you've any, anybody cracked the exam open and look at it yet? 
Nobody. That's okay. I didn't expect it to. I mean, it got posted Saturday afternoon. I'm hopefully not checking your email over the weekend. Um, but that's okay. I do too, because I'm a freak. But I mean, it, it's all right. I want to make sure if you guys have questions, they get answered whenever I can. But uh, just take your time with that one. I tried to, the reason it took so long to create was the graph itself was A, low resolution, and B, kind of confusing because of overlapping information. And I tried to break it down so that it was fairly clear about the overlapping information. And I was pleasantly surprised. My gut was correct. When I saw, when I saw the, the, the map come across my Facebook page, I groaned. I was like, oh crap, again, here we go. And I was like, you know what, maybe, maybe not. Maybe they did it right this time. Uh, and the answer is no, they didn't. And you'll be showing why they didn't through the course of that problem. So, at any rate, um, it took three hours to kind of line it out. Just take the time. I got a nice series of instructions. I think there's only four questions on the exam. And it might only be three. There's the chicken question, the GMO question, there's the total fit question. Right, it's got like A, B, down to J. And they're all like five point questions, like five point parts. You're almost what? I was almost stoked. Almost stoked. You got unstoked? I'm sorry. <laughs> there's a total fit question. Oh, no, there's subparts. I mean, well, the, the, the downside of doing it that way is I could make that be one question. Was it, was it, uh, pre was it presented accurately or not? Why or why not? I, I could make it a 25 point question, but I'd rather break it down into subparts. I think it's better for a student. There's the GMO question, the chicken question, the total fit question. Yeah, you'll analyze egg production of a chicken flock. Um, and I, that might be it. Maybe it's only three. Yeah. Good. If it's, oh, oh, there's also, oh, the fourth one is going out and finding, yeah, there's technically four, I guess. But you'll see it when you crack it open. So, but that's not due till week five. I just want to let you guys know it's up and running if you want to get into it. Um, there's no link in Blackboard for it yet, and it probably won't be for a couple weeks, but you can still work on it outside of, obviously, outside of Blackboard. I keep slugging away. I think it's all I got to say to you as far as that boring stuff goes. That is kind of boring and lame. I apologize, but I wanted to make sure that we said it. Um, 105 gave me grief. You didn't tell us about the project. Actually, I did. No, you didn't. I told you last class. Well, you didn't tell me since then. <laughs> I haven't seen you since then. Well, really no excuse. Well, yeah, so I wanted to make sure I did as much of it as I can before you bring, you bring large heavy objects and throw at me in class. So. Cool? Can we start a mini mode? Sure, if you want to. Oh. <laughs> Please. The in-class quizzes don't count towards the 10 that we're going They do. To they do. They do. I can't promise 10 of them, so that's why you have the out-of-class quizzes, right. too. Okay. Yeah, you probably have like five or six of them by the end of the course. Okay. But they do count towards the 10. Okay. Yeah, well, that's why um, it was a bit of an inflated number. So many students average 12 and 13 and 14 mm -hmm. because the in-class quizzes bump them over the 10 pretty comfortably. Okay. And students love the in-class quizzes, and I do, too, yeah. because you all basically get 10s on them. I think very, very rarely do people get 9s on them. Nobody's ever gotten below a 9, as far as I know. Um, most people get 10s, and the only reason you, they get below a, a 10 is because they're not paying attention at one moment in class when we go over that one particular okay. thing. I love those just-in-time assessments, because then you've got these beautiful, it's like a trifecta. I've got the in-class quiz, where we're nailing stuff right while we're learning it. You've got the week-later quiz, where you're tapping back into that hippocampus part of your brain and remembering it. And then you've got the exam, where you're tapping into it weeks later, so I'm trying to constantly hit those different layers of memory. Okay. Then 10 weeks go by and you can forget the whole thing. We'll learn it again at 244, but at least at 243 I've kept you on.